ultrasound and this is lesson number two we have studied that how ultrasound is produced ultrasound is generated due to high frequency energy depends on the frequency and intensity also depends on the energy and the frequency so the ultrasound is the high intensity sound it travels in the form of the beam so this is the incident intensity in imaging ultrasound travels from air to skin of the patient acoustic impedance of the air is represented by suppose z1 and the skin acoustic impedance represented by z2 due to difference of these two acoustic impedances sum of the intensity is reflected back in the same medium air and some of the sound is transmitted into the body so this is transmitted intensity so at this point intensity which is incident is divided into two part i are reflected and i are transmitted now this i r is totally the loss we have to reduce it this i r directly proportional to the difference of the two acoustic impedance care so the intensity reflected depends on the difference of these two impedance but scare so incident and reflected intensity ratio I mean i r over i naught reflected to incident is equal to z2 minus z1 over z2 plus z1 whole square so this is the formula to calculate the ratio between reflected intensity and the incident intensity and it is called reflection coefficient this ratio and it is represented by alpha so alpha is the ratio between i r and i naught without any unit and the formula same z2 minus z1 over z2 plus z1 but square so to reduce this reflected intensity i r we have to reduce it so it mean we have to reduce the difference between two acoustic impedances so how this is reduced radiologist will use a gel on the human body on the skin and this gel is called coupling medium and its acoustic impedance is approximately equal to the skin acoustic impedance then the ultrasound probe is placed inside the gel so the difference between the acoustic impedance of this coupling medium the skill skin is minimum so the reflected intensity is minimum so by applying the gel on the skin and then placing the ultrasound probe mean that crystal silica o4 ortho silicate right inside the gel then we can reduce this reflection intensity of the ultrasound now during downward transmission ultrasound is also absorbed by the body and this absorption 
i t divided by i naught is represented by the beta absorption coefficient during transmission and this is exponential process so it can be written as e power minus mu x sometimes minus kx mu rk same thing and this constant is called absorption coefficient the first was the reflection coefficient and this beta is the absorption coefficient and what is the x x is actually the depth at which we are measuring this ratio suppose this is the point p so this x is the depth so the absorption of the ultrasound during downward transmission is not linear it is exponential that's why this ratio is e power minus mu x and mu is the linear absorption coefficient and x is the depth so the first loss of the ultrasound in the form of reflection and the second in the form of absorption and then it is reflected from the organ suppose this is a kidney it is reflected back during upward transmission it is also absorbed by the surrounding so this is suppose b1 downward transmission now after reflection from the internal body organ this ultrasound is reflected and during upward transmission it is also absorbed so this upward transmission absorption coefficient is b2 so it is also i t over i naught so e power minus mu x if downward the medium medium same upward the medium same then beta 1 and the beta 2 both will be equals mean the beta mean if downward it's passing to the muscle and upward again passing to the muscle so b1 b2 same if downward some muscle and upward some fluid then medium different so beta 1 and beta 2 will be different so it depends on the nature of the medium if upward downward transmission same medium so beta 1 beta 2 both will be equal if different then beta and beta 2 will be different okay when this intensity reflected and it is received at the surface mean at the surface of the skin then this received intensity of the ultrasound rcv an i not ratio is equal to alpha times beta 1 times beta 2 so look it is lost number 1 in reflection so this is alpha down transmission this is beta and the up transmission it is beta 2 so this received intensity alpha beta 1 beta 2 types i times i not but if the medium is same down transmission up transmission then we can write received intensity and incident intensity ratio will be alpha beta into beta in alpha beta square or it can be written as received intensity over i not is equal to sorry this received intensity is equal to alpha beta square i not so we have to remember number 1 formula for the alpha number 2 for the beta and number 3 for the received intensity ratio now this received intensity and this incident intensity when compared the intensity i not is too large 
but when it is received it is very small because majority of the intensity is lost in reflection and downward upward transmission so after reception this received intensity rcv is amplified and then it is processed by a powerful computer for its display so the received intensity is very small in the magnitude it is amplified by the amplifier and then it is processed by the powerful uh, computer and then this is displayed now the first step is we have to receive ultrasound so the ultrasound is received at surface of the human body skin then who will detect it the detector is the same crystal piezoelectric crystal which is orthosilicate look the side the side both are connected with a wire but here the circuit is different so this is connected with a sensitive voltmeter only voltmeter connected with it now the ultrasound is coming I mean intensity of the received ultrasound is coming this ultrasound it is the series of compression and the rare fraction the compression is carrying the high pressure of the air and the rare fraction is carrying the low pressure of the air when compression of the air carried by the ultrasound reaches or strikes the surface of the crystal due to high pressure force is exerted per unit area so due to the pressure force exerted so when force is exerted so this force is exerted on the charges so work is done on the charges in the crystal and the work done on the charge is called voltage look first compression and then rare fraction to so high pressure low pressure at the surface of the crystal so due to the high pressure the silica positive and suppose this oxygen negative will get close when rare fraction will come the distance will increase due to the small force it mean force is exerted and the distance is covered by the charges in the direction of force so the work is done when work is done on the charges voltage is produced so the compression and the rare fraction approaching the surface of the crystal and they are doing some work on the charges and that work on the charge will appear as a voltage and remember voltage is the analog signal so in this way ultrasound is detected okay suppose if the voltmeter is calibrated into decibel and this crystal is placed in the noisy environment then this instrument the circuit will measure the noise pollution and it is also used in the cell phones mi microphone when the sound I mean compression rare fraction strikes the surface of this crystal right so mechanical vibration is converted into electric vibration mean voltage is produced 
and sound is converted into analog voltage. So this is also used in microphone. If this voltmeter is calibrated into the decibel, then this is also used to measure the noise pollution. And here in this circuit, it is used to detect the ultrasound. Now ultrasound is converted into the voltage. Suppose this is the voltage pulse. This pulse is amplified by the amplifier and then it is processed by the powerful computer programming and then it is finally displayed on the screen either two-dimensional picture or three-dimensional picture. Okay, now the procedure of the imaging. How to find the image? Transducer, which is a crystal, is placed in contact with the skin with a gel acting as a coupling medium. And the coupling medium will reduce the reflection from the skin. Short pulse of the ultrasound is transmitted into the body, not the continuous ultrasound, but the short pulse. And the pulse is reflected from the surface of the human body and then partially transmitted into the body and then it is reflected from the internal organ and they received at the surface. So the reflected pulse or the pulses returns to the transducer, which is the crystal, where they are detected and transformed into the voltage pulse by using the crystal and these voltage, voltage pulses are amplified and they are processed to give the image on the CRO, mean cathode ray oscilloscope, right? And there will be two techniques. We have done A scan and the B scan. A scan for the two dimensional image and the B, uh, sorry, A scan is for just the pulse and B scan for the two dimensional or three dimensional image. Then the uses of the ultrasound, scanning of the human body, physiotherapy, lithotripter, we have done. Advantages, ultrasound has no ionizing effect, thus the health risk factor to the human patient and those operating the system is very much low. It has no side effect for the patient and the operator. This equipment is small, portable, and it's simple to use. Modern techniques of the ultrasonography mean the low intensity echoes to be detected, and as a result, we can detect the boundaries between soft tissues as well as soft and hot tissues. So these are the advantages of alt and there are some disadvantages for example if we increase the frequency it will improve the image quality but it will increase the heating effect in the human body because high frequency high energy and number two the heating effect will disturb the scanning and very important if the intensity is too large then there will be the ra rapid fluctuation in the pressure mean, compression and rare fractions are formed quickly. So this high pressure will dissolve carbon dioxide or oxygen in the blood. So the micro bubbles are formed, which can damage the tissues both physically and chemically in the human body. So these are the disadvantages of ultrasound.